So I offer a couple of different options for reed replacement screws. I offer the longer Phillips head and the shorter flat head screws, as well as washers. This gives you four options. Uh, and this is what the, the four options look like once they're installed. Uh, each option gives you a great result. The reed uh, is very stable, won't budge. Um, so here's a reed that I've taken off. We're going to enlarge the hole. So here's an M1.4 tap. Uh, I've tapped the plate with this reed. I'm also tapping the base of the, uh, the reed. Uh, I'm also I'm going to use an M1.6 tap, so it's a little bit bigger. I'm going to enlarge that hole. And finally, here's my uh, 1 16th of an inch drill bit uh, that I'm going to enlarge the hole further. So it's, it's a, a couple more steps than if you just use the drill bit and, the, and a drill press, but it saves you from having to use a drill press. You can use this method. So we got that uh, reed with the larger hole. We have the reed plate with the, with the tapped uh, hole in it for the screw. We just put the reed in the slot, hold it there with the finger. Uh, the Phillips head screws are a little longer so we can pick them up with our fingers and just put them in the slot. You tighten the screw all the way and then you back it up a little bit. You back it up so that you can make those uh, little adjustments. Okay, so there I, I just backed it up. Grab a reed wrench and center that reed. Here we can see the reed's not quite perfect. So here's the reed wrench. Just wiggle that. Usually I'd look up to the light using a, the um, you know bright screen of a cell phone is, is just here for the camera. It's not a very, you, you can't see very well. Uh, so it's not my favorite option, but I did it for the video so you can get an idea of what I'm looking at. Once you get that reed where you want it, you pinch it and you tighten it. Now sometimes some stubborn uh, uh, reeds, when you tighten them, they're going to move, they're going to migrate on you, they're going to shift left, they're going to shift right, and you're going to fight, you're going to go back and forth. So the solution that I have for you is to use a washer. So here I just take some tweezers and I put the washer over that uh, the reed, grab the long screw, a, a five millimeter screw, and screw it in. Uh, the washer also helps uh, if you you got the position just perfect and you want to give the screw one last little bit of tightening and it, the, 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 you're having trouble with the uh, the reed uh, migrating, the washer will help. Um, so here it is. Uh, the, the reed wasn't uh, perfectly centered. We centered it and tightened that screw, and we're good to go. Here's the five millimeter uh, screw. Snip it off using flush cut pliers, and that completes the process. If you don't want to go to the trouble of cutting uh, the screw once it's in place, I offer you these shorter screws. They're hard to manage with your fingers, so I suggest you dip your screwdriver in a little bit of Vaseline uh, so that the, re the, um, the screw sticks to the screwdriver, and you can get the reed, you can get the screw in place that way. They're, they're just too small to, to handle with your fingertips. Uh, so they're a little bit more difficult, more finicky, but once they're in, they're in. You set it and forget it. You don't have to snip the screw. Uh, again, if you have trouble centering the reed or positioning it, you can use these with a washer. Uh, there's no problem uh, whatsoever with that. Uh, so here's that view of the reed. Uh, we're going to center it. I'm going to look up to the light here to center it and then give it that final tightening. Uh, here I'm tightening with quite a little, uh, quite a little bit of strength. Uh, and that reed is going to be in there tight. So here we're that quick, uh, that last quick view where you see the reed is perfectly centered in the slot. You see lights on light on both sides. Uh, and here you see that the reed is indeed snug and it's not going anywhere. So those are the reed uh, replacement screw options I offer.